Everything Now show? Do you know Everything Now show? Oh yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. What's up Everything Now show? Oh, Everything Now show. Oh, I love Everything Now show. Everything Now show? That's they're important. so fun. They're really funny. I love Everything Now show. This is fucking dope. They do this all live? God damn, such talent. The show looks absolutely wild. You're gonna have so much fun. It's Everything Now! An interactive comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices. Submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road end in 100 feet. What the f***? It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. No, don't put me back in the Jolly Bee outfit. <laughs> Uh. Hey everybody, what's up? Oh my gosh, I was having the best dream and I'm sad that I'm no longer in it. Um quiet quitting. No, 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 I just <laughs> uh, wow. It's been a long day. But that is no excuse. I am at, I'm at the clock now. I'm on the clock. That's the phrase. That's the American phrase, right? On the clock. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Uh, pardon me. My doctor says I should do this every thirty minutes. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. It's me, Tito Prank. I uh, here at the uh, Everything Now call center. Who's that lady behind you? Oh, that's. Don't mind her. That's Glenda. She's she's a workhorse. Hey Glenda, can I talk to you for a second? Fuck you. See, didn't even turn around. Did not even turn around. Uh, I'm Tito Prank, and we're going to help people. They're going to call us with problems with any Everything Now Corporation product, and you and I are going to provide assistance. Okay? So I'm going to be looking to you for uh, the advice and whatnot. Uh, let's go ahead and do a uh, sound off in the chat. Do a little roll call. Levi Stubbs Tears, Salad Fork, Mega Wolf. Uh, Clayton Death, Surreal Chemist, GoGo -Go Gadget 360, Do Doctor Who Cares, Hey It's Aaron, Taco Light 69, Idol Spork, Sadville PM, Code Nail, Six Creative Steve 69, uh, Rebecca Jewel, Brando 2600, Michael Mouse, I'm walking here, CL90, I fight for them, Veldruck, Death Nuggets 01, Phil Nom, Apples Dragon, Caesar Dust Salad, Alicia for Ferris One, Lune DVSN, Destruction Fox, Rob Man. 1978 weirdling prime flip flop star 88 the saint dark Pr dark web prosciutto homebrew sins bin alejandro 2069 bra bitter snark it's bitter snark i thought it was bitter snake that's dirt snakes i'm thinking of and the rest yeah i've got the mary lou henner disease <laughs> I was on taxi um the disease is being is on being taxi, on taxi yeah <laughs> It's a genuine problem. Eight people out there in the world have had it. Uh, um, welcome back, everybody. So, uh, oh, the Bipolar Express. Six bananas. Everyone's here. Yes, 420. Pardon me. Folks. Uh, <coughs> we got to run a 90 <coughs> Let's just run this ad right now. Okay. <coughs> So, yeah, I know that's right. So I know that's right. <laughs> <coughs> See how fun it is? <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm good. <coughs> I'm happy by subbing. Okay. <coughs> I'm good. We, I will, I will not do anything funny in the meantime. I, I promise you that. I can get your Burt Reynolds pick signed if you want. Text log, is that true? You can get my. 
<laughs> my genuine 16 millimeter photograph of Burt Reynolds down here, signed by the man himself. Hey, he's dead. That guy died. Didn't Burt Reynolds die? No, I'm just saying the guy says he can get my Burt Reynolds pick signed. By who? Not Burt Reynolds, I'm assuming. <clears throat> Would that be worth anything? A picture of Burt Reynolds signed by someone who's not Burt Reynolds? I think so. As long as they're cool. I think as long as they have a mustache. Okay, so it could be like Tom Selleck. Yup. End of list. Um, oh, text log would sign it themselves. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. How much time do we have left on the advertisement? Uh, it's looking like probably 18 seconds. When we get back, we should tell them about the card. Of course. Who, uh... I'll do all that shit. Right, right. I'll do all that cool crap. Forgery. What the hell? Tom Selleck is not Burt Reynolds. My friend, Caesar the Salad, you have a lot to learn, my friend. Lots to learn. My friend, you have a lot to learn. My friend, I think this is the beginning of a long educational period for you. Um, <clears throat> are we back? Are we at? I think, yeah, same the time's up. Basically, so, you're essentially, basically, people, uh, you can interact with the show in a couple ways, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> How am I doing? Crazy! I'm doing so crazy right now. Um, oh, we didn't say the thing. That's fine. That that just looks like a guy. That just looks like a guy. That just looks like a normal guy. Uh, folks, if you subscribe to the show, you can sign the Get Well Soon card. We have someone who works in the office who is actually in the hospital right now. This is the last card that was for uh, Brenda who's, uh, I think something was wrong with their minge, as far as I remember. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. But they did get so much better, their minge is actually too strong now. So, uh, be careful. But anyway, someone else is in the hospital right now. I believe it is, uh, it's Ryan. Ryan is in the hospital right now. Does anyone remember what happened to Ryan that put landed him in the, uh, in the emergency room? Men, 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 yep, mm -hmm. that's what I said. Um, penis chopped off. Mm. Nepotism. What if, what if it's one you would say to your parents? <clears throat> Challenge. I would tell my parents if my penis got chopped off. Challenge. Pitch, pitch a thing here that you would be willing to say out loud in a school <laughs> or library. Ghost. <laughs> Big toe incident. <laughs> yeah, he stubbed his toe. <laughs> um, Big toe. Yeah, Big toe incident. That's right. It's... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he, he he rammed it right. Big goats. Big coats. Big, big goat. goat. Got okay. Yeah, so he got in the fight with a big goat. Yeah, lots of stuff going on here. Um, I'm not gonna say some of these. I'm not gonna say some of these. Uh, yeah, big goat got into a. He actually wandered into a goat's nest, and yes. <laughs> um, well, let's just say you shouldn't have taken those eggs. Um, so Ryan's in the hospital right now. If you subscribe, you get to sign a get well soon card for Ryan. And we got our first one! Okay, let's see. I fight for them. I'm sorry about the VD. Joe Rogan showed me, uh, told me that I could take colloidal? Colloidal. Colloidal. Silver prophylactically. 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 And everything would be cool. My bad, I guess. GWS? I don't know what that means. Unfortunately, I understood the entire time. You, 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 it seems like you understood every single part I'm of really that. Uh, that. Yeah, exactly. How do you do that? If you subscribe, uh, you do like exclamation point submit, and then you put what you want on the card. Now, if we get 23 more subscriptions, we're going to uh, go have a chat at the water cooler, you know, and just kind of... Uh, just kind of hang out. What's the what's the scariest thing out there that one needs help with, uh, than small talk, huh? So you're gonna help someone in this office do some small talk and survive a, a simple conversation that is truly a nightmare for all of us. Uh, you you know the feeling. Oh, GWS is get well soon. You learn something new every day. Surplus value theory loves banter. Please get the 23 uh, subscription so that they can play the game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I ate too much pizza. And now there's like a film of something in my throat. Five dollars, you can terminate the caller and also check out the sound alerts over there. Okay, are you ready? Are we going to do this? You and me, Tito Frank, doing this right now? Okay, bye. Good evening, this is Tito Frank from the Air Now Call Center. How may I help you? Agent Matt Jacobs, FBI. Agent, hello, how are you doing today? Good. I'm a female body inspector. 
Oh. Okay. Um, what's, what's, <laughs> hey, mind your own calls. I'm taking care of this one. Um, agent, is everything okay? I'm in a hot bed right now. I'm in a Victoria's Secret. The one in Midtown Manhattan. Brother, you are in some serious hot water there. That is, uh, that's the, that's the, that's the, the, the main hive, I would say. A female body inspection. <laughs> Trying to be cool right now. Uh, the situation seems stable. Uh huh. Uh, I think I called in. I guess the reason I called in is uh, <clears throat> I, I've never been this deep behind the enemy line before. Yeah. Without anyone by my side. So, oh, uh, I see. I see. So you, you need like a partner with you right now? Yeah, I just need some backup. I need someone to cover my flanks. Okay, cool. Got it. And what kind of person, what kind of agent would you like sent over to you? I mean, even if it's just you with me on the phone right now, do you have the, the okay. do you have the Morgan Freeman machine from the Dark hey, Knight? Hey, my do name I... is Belinda. Can I help you with anything? Oh, hi. Uh, I'm just looking around for my mom. You're looking for underwear for your mom? For yeah. Lingerie for your mom? Yeah, Mother's Day is tomorrow, and boy, does she need something... S s sultry. Hmm. <clears throat> Unusual request, but I suppose I can help you since you're a customer, a real <clears throat> customer. Yep, that would be great. Why don't you go look on the other side of the store? Okay. Sure, I'll meet you over in the sexy uh, mom uh, thong section. Perfect. Agent, agent, are you, are you still there? <gasps> that was so close. Wow, that you handled so that close. very well, I think, from what I, I heard over the I'm book. getting multiple, I already don't like this bit. Look, <laughs> I'm getting multiple people saying that. Okay, I have the Morgan Freeman computer from The Dark Knight up right now, and I see everything. Okay. Uh, what am I looking for? Okay, I'm just, just trying to make sure everyone in here is normal. What does that mean? What does that mean? It just means. What does that mean? It just means that everyone in there, that everything's cool, and I'm, and I know that we are, we are. Dancing around a potential huge, huge, not not funny, not okay thing. <laughs> Something's wrong. What? What? What's wrong? There's a spill of Gatorade and Mountain Dew. What? Mountain Dew and Gatorade all over our, our clothes. That's pretty messy. Oh shoot. And, and also Axe body spray. And also, uh, like, you know, oil, motor oil. It's all stuff that boys would have. Wow, who could have brought that stuff all in here? Probably, probably someone up to no good. Agent, did you, you didn't bring in shut your up, lunch, shut right? Shut the fuck up, shut okay. Up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, uh, don't worry, fair citizen. I'll deal with that oh, as well. When I find out who did this, I'm gonna cut their peanuts off. Oh, God. <laughs> Agent, you heard them threaten castration. I feel like this is this is your pull out, you know? This is my job. I don't know. I'm keeping the world safe. <sighs> they tell you that? Yes. Okay, and it seems like you've sent me an image here uh, to help me understand your situation a little better. I'm really nervous about the kind of images that you could be sending me right now. So let's let's keep it let's okay. keep it chill, please. Listen, I didn't choose this job, okay? My dad was an FBI agent. Your dad was a female body inspector? Yes. Is that Shane? That's Shane. That's friend of the show, Shane, who's done this format before. Oh, I don't want to say any. I really like Shane. Was this just an accident then? Did you just send a, a nice picture from your phone? Yeah, this is just a school guy named Shane Bidet. He's okay. very sweet to uh, the Everything Now show. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good to put out there. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Give it. Give it back. Give it back. I don't have to be mean to him to to play yeah. the game. Yeah, exactly. You yeah, can also do that. Nice. Yeah. Are you going to? Okay. <laughs> So this is a shot of me at the last job I was on. Okay, someone pay five dollars right now. What? <laughs> I don't know. I just got really scared. Uh, that that really just that one that one really got to me. Um, Shane Madey, a watcher, of course, friend of the show, been on he the rocks. show before. Yeah, He's we love him. Guy and we love him, and you should clip that and send it to him. <laughs> Actually, don't send it to him, but. <laughs> you we said do it. like you already said it. I so know, it's going it's, to don't happen. bother him. He's he's got you know. Uh, I think he's on tour right now. Okay, my guy. Is there you know? I feel like there's got to be something else that you could do in this life that is not so uh, gross. I mean, I did have another dream. Oh yeah, tell me about that. I always wanted to be a cop. Again, five dollars if you do not like the caller uh, that is on the other line. Uh, it wasn't in the cards for me, though. How come? Are you, like, colorblind or something? No. 
I'm not racist enough. Oh, didn't even mean it like that. <laughs> they had me take a racism test and I failed it. And they said I needed to pass it by being a certain level of racist. So you weren't racist enough. Yeah. Well, we can help, but no. Um, <laughs> you sure? No. Okay. What does COP mean? Also feels a little... Yeah, I made a little bit of Sun Gender reference. La laser Lady. Yes. Um, okay, well, okay. Cop out of the cards. Female body inspector. I don't know. I feel like you're risking your life here. And do you, you know have... what's the hardest part about this job? I don't want... Nope. Inspecting the female bodies. I thought you were going to say something else, but never mind. Uh, <laughs> what did you think I was going to say? The hardest the hardest oh, part like about my, being a... Like my... Your penis. Or something. Yeah. This is rough. <laughs> Not your fault. Uh, I'm I'm simply feeling crazy right now. <laughs> Citizens on patrol. Got it. Thank you, cute caller. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Did you just say thank you? What? Were you actively rooting for my death this whole time? No, but I will ask you to please have everyone evacuate from the Victoria's Secret right now, please. I can't do that in a way that doesn't arise suspicion. What are you talking? You're a, you're an officer of the law. I guess so. Well, too late. Yeah. Oh, as I'm dying. Well, it looks like every female terrorist in the world wins again. <laughs> what a gray area. <laughs> so hard to decide. Was that right? I don't know. I, uh, uh, middle karma, I would say. God forbid women have hobbies. I know that's right. <laughs> As a female terrorist, W. <laughs> Thank you for all the female terrorists out there in the chat. Female terrorists in the chat, sound off. Uh, <laughs> clear uh, entrapment operation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Folks, we are just kidding. Well, some, uh, okay, uh, let's reset. I'm Tito Frank. This is the Everything Now Call Center. People are calling in with problems. You and I are going to try and help them out, okay? Um, <clears throat> that's amazing. So Ryan's in the hospital because they wandered into a goat's nest and uh, they got hurt trying to collect the eggs. And uh, Levi Stubbs Tears signed the card saying, I'm sorry to hear about the goat attack. It always happens to the nudists, right? Right. Ryan was the naked guy who would hang out in the office. Right. Uh, I am so sorry about the burp. But thank you, Levi Stubbs Tears. Please, if you subscribe, you get to sign the card. Thank you, the tiny mouse, for the follow. And also, if we get 21 more subscriptions, we're going to go to the water cooler. Whoa. An anonymous gifter has just given us five subscriptions. That is so nice of you. I love that. We got it for Ricky Ricardo, Relaxed TV, Everything Now Show Alex, Ori Land, and the and name I'm not going to say. And a fifth person. <clears throat> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get... Talk about God jizz? We're going to get another call in <laughs> and we're going to help them out, okay? Um, we are, what, how many subscriptions is that away from the sub goal? Math. <laughs> Let's, uh, we do? Yeah. We do? It's connected to it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> we... <laughs> it's ringing. It's ringing. The phone's ringing. The keys on the thing. Fuck off! Yeah. Jake, they found the what the the the, the All key. Right, I'm just starting the call. Hey! I wasn't done! <sighs> Good evening, this is Dealer Brain from the Everything Not Call Center. Hello! How can hello. I help you? Hello, hello. Oh, uh, thank God. I was able to get a phone out of my pocket and use my toe to get it on speakerphone. Use your chode? I my toe. Tito. My toe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> can we can we take this seriously, please? I found your phone number on all the stuff I'm being held hostage with. Oh. It says ENS hostage rope, ENS hostage cuffs, ENS hostage nipple electrifiers. Oh wow, they have the entire package. And uh, how successfully held hostage Thank do you, you feel right calling. now? I'm 100% trapped. It's valid. very effective Please product. Hold. That's well, amazing. I have to put you on hold for a minute. That's my problem! I just, I feel crazy today. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Talking, huh? Oh, no, please. Take care of this <laughs> oh, no, no. Don't don't smack me around at all. Oh, it sounds rough there. Ah, ah, oh, oh, oh. He's smacking me. Ah, ah they're smacking him and they're zapping me with the nipples. Ah! 
Tito! Ah! Tito! <sighs> Good evening, this is Tito Frank. Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here, Tito. I'm being held hostage with your company supplies. I was saying it's good. The, the product is good. Thank you. But it's I really appreciate me. that. Would you like to write the review for the products? I can't. Marcus Atrium has the monkey's paw. He's on his way to Prague to detonate the code inside. Marcus Atrium is on his way to Prague. Way. Yes, I'm here identity. to get the rabbit's foot from phone, him, but he took my, he kidnapped my girlfriend request. and he put this bag over my head. And he's gonna kill her if if I try to take the rabbit, the monkey's paw off from him. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, I have to have you answer these uh, security question to verify that it is your account and you're not trying to commit a fraudulism. Let's the entire fate of the world is at stake. Atrium can shut down the entire power grid. And uh, wh who's your favorite kind of person to bust? Um, the answer is uh, the answer is Corinna Kopf. I'm sorry. What? What? Favorite. Oh no! It's a, <laughs> it's a reference to her bust. Come on now. It's, it's come on. Now. Why do both of you know that? Come on now. I, just, I don't know. We'll talk after. I that was it. A bust, not bust two. I, it was more about the 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 term for the talking female about a chest. Figure, you know, like her, a, her a talking about a woman's figure. Her bust. Her bust. It, <laughs> I, 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 I really need to reset the tone of this entire. It's a little crass, but it's not it's as not, crass as we were making it out. Yeah, no, that's true. That's no, true. I, yeah. Anyway, that's the code. Okay. Yeah. It it worked. That was the answer. Correct. Thank you. Okay. okay. So. Atrium has the monkey's paw. He's taking the files to Prague where he's going to detonate the code and it's going to shut down the world's power grid unless we do something. Okay. Thank you for calling. And we I have to put you on hold really quick. I'm what? so hold sorry. While one of our operators finds the answer you're looking for. I'm so tired. Oh no. I'm just so tired today. I don't know what it is. You gave me the monkey's paw. I, I don't have it anywhere here. I didn't give it. Hello. <laughs> Hello, it's me again. I didn't know you were back. And I have to go talk to my annoying co-worker. I am so sorry about this, sir. The entire fate of humanity is depending on me getting out of here. Is it the rabbit's paw or the monkey's foot? I don't, you know, it's going to be ugh, always something with these people. No one ever calls and is like, how are you doing, Tito Prank? And I never get hey, hey, What's up, man? Been using the Everything Now brand nipple clamps. These oh. things are wild. Yeah, man. they really work, huh? I feel crazy all the time. Yeah, I actually have someone on the phone right now who is complaining about them. Oh, that's really interesting. I didn't realize that pain in very specific settings can also have an element of pleasure to them. It's true. It's that's possible. That's pretty wild. I know. The human brain is fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah. Learning that all for the first time. Hey, you know, it's never too late to learn about uh, kink or fetishes or just anything that makes you an alive human being. You totally, know? totally. You watching the Celtics game later? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm very excited for that. Cool, who, are they, yeah. who, who are they playing right now? Uh, the the team that beat the Magic. The Cavaliers. Oh, the Cavs versus the Celtics. Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. very exciting stuff. So we're stuff. both going to watch the game separately in our own houses? Yeah, and no, we'll just kind of text each other like the uh, the favorite tweets that we've seen about the game as they go. Sure, sure. And You're I'll into probably, that? I'll probably respond to those at the end, even though I'm on my phone the whole time. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to get in a back and forth with you. I so I'll see the text come in, I'll ignore it. I totally get it. Cool. Um... Hey, you're not annoying at all. This is actually a totally fine interaction. Oh, great. I'm really glad to hear that. I'm going to crank these up to 11 and see if I can uh, bleed. You got it, man. Make sure you don't make the lights flicker. I need those to see what I'm writing. Um, how do you watch the game? I look for a Twitch stream that someone is putting the game on, Wait, but they're holding a game controller to make it look like they're just playing like NBA 2K or something like that. Is that really how you do it? Sometimes. I got to do that. Sometimes. Oh my gosh. Sir, are you still there? Hello? They killed her. <laughs> who... Who they, Who killed... Who, who did that? They killed Elizabeth. I am so sorry, sir. When what? I get out of here, and I find Atrium, I'm not just gonna take the monkey's paw. I'm gonna make him suffer. 
I'm going to make him wish he never crossed me. And would you like any uh, everything now corporation calling. funeral we services? Your time is valuable. <laughs> I am so sorry one of our I have to put you on hold. Finds I'm the sorry. answer you're looking for. Oh, did I hear you were gonna you were gonna kill me? You were gonna torture me or something? Oh yeah, pal? Well, hey, watch this. Hiya! Kick, kick! Only with my legs! Kick! Ow! Ow! Shit! Ow! Wait, what are you doing with that additional article of clothing? Oh yeah, well, well what, what if you were this guy? What if you were the guy that wore a dumb hat? Now no. you feel really stupid. Hmm. Is it losing my wife or love? <laughs> That's right. I was gonna propose. I have a <laughs> ring in my pocket. <laughs> Elizabeth! I'm sorry, sir. Elizabeth is dead as far as I know. He told me so about two minutes ago. So I don't think she'd be able to hear you when you call her name like that. Tio. I'm here. Have you ever... Have you ever been so motivated by revenge that you lost sight of every moral bone you've ever had? Tio. Yeah, I think so. I can relate to that, I think. You know, <laughs> on like a kind of broader level. Well, the really hard goal. mission teams can have to function without by me. Answering the I'm going rogue. Oh, question. boy. Hey, that's very exciting. Would you like uh, an Everything Now Corporation how to not do it by the book book? All I want is help of how to get out of the ENS kidnap hostage kit. It is a kit. It is a kit, yes. And I will have to have you answer an identity um, confirmation check here, okay. just to make sure you're not committing a fraudulism. I'm not. I, you know, how many times are we going to need to do this, man? If I had to kiss another officer in my unit, this is the officer that I would kiss with all of my lips and my tongue. Larkins. It's Larkins. Which one? Uh, the, both of them. The two brothers. Chris and Dave. Oh, okay. they're twins. They're they're equally. The and, and you think they'd like that? I, that's not part of the security. That's not question. part of the security question. You're right. I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It. But the yes. Third character you named Chris today, by the way. Interesting, <laughs> folks. Uh, all my assistants out there. Does anyone know um, how to get out of the Everything Now Corporation hostage <laughs> nipple clamps? Help! Help! I gotta get out of these nipple clamps. <laughs> ah! They're zapping me. Ah! I'll kill you, Atrium. The, uh, yeah, Idle Spork says that the Larkins do have good genes, so that's good. Probably a good pull. Uh, thank you, the Dark Web Pursuit, though. The front door is unlocked. Yeah, so you can just wander out is what I've heard, but I know that getting the nipple clamps... No, my ankles are also in chains. Oh, okay, You just I see. can't see that. I see. Imagine being pregnant. Maybe that'll help. Um, How could that help? I don't know. I'm well, just... let me try. Maybe try orgasming. The clamps might pop off. Let's move on from that one. I don't know why I said that one out loud. Um, gonna... Use the everything now. Okay, I can't say that one either. <laughs> Saliva would loosen the clamps. That's right. They have, they're have. they made of a certain substance that any liquid um, could possibly help loosen them up. So I should start spitting? Yeah, or have you tried crying about it? Start spitting. Start freestyling. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You have any I, you have any hot yeah. fire in you that you can uh yeah. can maybe help you out? Looking. Yeah. Yeah. Not very good hostage equipment. Hey yo, not, Drake, uh, I'm in on the beef <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you how this is coming from the streets. Los Angeles hates you, bro. Yeah, no matter where you go, we're coming for you and you're a Jew. That, but it's not it's not because it's not because it's not because it's not because. It's not because. Right. It's just a fact. We are on the front page. It's a fact about the man. So what? Why bring that? Why, why did you bring it up? Because it rhymes. <laughs> That's a good point. Because it rhymes. Destruction I Fox. Rap no, he, told me to spit, he did bro. not say that. I, am, I, I crushed that, and the cuffs are still on. So obviously, spit doesn't work. Okay. Rap battle the nipple clamps. Okay, I see. So you rap battled the no. Don't let's let's end the rap battle stuff. Sure. It seems to take you down a very dark lane. Um, my my, per, my rap persona is sort of like an early Tyler the Creator. Of course, you're like very shock value. Yeah. Um, the indicator for when our guests are Jewish, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like a yellow like star. Like a yellow star. <laughs> we'll put a yellow star next to all the names. Okay, I got some suggestions here. But I gotta get out of here! Have you tried taking them off? Like, are they just, do they have like some kind of release? Is that part of your. I don't know. It's, uh, someone's asking if you tried taking them off. And also, dislocate your shoulders. I'll try that one first. And. <laughs> 
I think that's actually. Oh wait, I guess it like hangs lower because it's yeah, and then it could slide right off maybe. Oh wait, it's my wrists that are stuck. Oh, so break your wrist. <laughs> okay. Yeah! It's uh, not sliding. It's actually because the width of my hand. It's got nothing to do with my now broken wrist. Have you tried asking nicely? I'm not. I'm not stupid, Tito. I'm not. Act, I'm not. I don't think you are. I stupid. know, but just can I put you on hold for a second? I, I'm right here. I hear you trying. No, I'm not trying. I'm not I, saying you're stupid I either. It was a bad idea, so I didn't actually try that hard. It's supposed to help. It's supposed to loosen up the the, the handcuffs. But Should I try a wrap again? Maybe. Maybe, but really be careful. Maybe. <laughs> Have you dislocated your nipples? Okay, Kendrick, I'm on to you. That's <laughs> right, but you're not a Jew. Oh, and I, what? 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 Why? 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 I'm like Switzerland. That's I'm in between the conflict. <laughs> I'm on both don't sides. Talk about it. Also, in relation to Nazism, you don't want to be like Switzerland. Five dollars. Is that oh? Uh, five dollars. He's a cop. I'm just saying. Five dollars. I'm actually an agent of an elite task force. Oh yeah. Which one is that? The really hard mission team. <laughs> oh okay. I see. <laughs> yeah. Got it. You're like really far off the grid. Right. I am. I am so undercover that my own team thinks I've gone rogue against them, and they're hunting me while I hunt Atrium, and I have to get the monkey's paw, or the code on there is gonna crash the power grid. Remember her? Yeah. It's all. It's all coming back to me now. I did it. There you go. I guess the answer was your cups <laughs> probably in the breeze. Sorry about that. That's fine. Look, we figured it out. All that matters is that you got out. Does okay? that ever happen like that? That I that you just get out? Uh, on their own? They fix it? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah. sometimes. All right, well, sometimes. I hate listening, Tito. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Maybe Please. you just have to say all those words you said to give you the strength to pull this off. Exactly. Maybe I was just spitting bars. Maybe I was crushing it and should go again. Hey, yo, religion's fun to rap about, and, uh, talking about Jews gives me clout! And there it is. Damn. Did someone pay five dollars? No. Okay. That one was dealer's choice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of messed up. Oh, fuck. oh god, let's end the show. Honestly... This is a mess. We're sorry, Twitch! Oh, we were doing god. so good! Willie, sorry if you're watching this sorry, right Willie. now. Do we oh, have no, to no, keep no, going? No, 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 or is it... Can we, let's keep going. I promise most of this is on accident. <laughs> most of it, for sure. And the stuff that's not... its That's the funny stuff. Yeah, exactly. This entire show has been scripted from the beginning. Exactly. And I think... Just, like, hey, Tara, this week can we end? Uh, yep, and the Luke Man is boycotting everything now show. About time. Dang it! Uh... We've needed haters. Ooh, I needed that. Ooh. Um, it's like further about well, we, we tried helping. Uh, I don't know if uh, I don't know if we helped anyone in that in that call, but uh, I think we're gonna keep on trying our best tonight, and we'll take one more call. Uh, please consider subscribing. Again, we have ten more subscriptions away until we go do some small talk at the water cooler. Has anyone signed the card for Ryan since we last uh, uh, checked? I think so. I think they've all been anonymously yeah. gifted. Oh, yeah. that's just nice. That's very nice. Thank you, the real Horatio. How's it going? Um, okay, okay, <laughs> lots going on in the chat here. Yeah, uh, what's going on? Why are you laughing, buddy? Uh, the comment. Yeah, the is it 8 bits yeah, of ganders? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, okay. Uh, look, folks, we're going to help out the person. Who's Ryan? He's in the hospital, and so if you subscribe, you can sign a Get Well Soon card for him. Uh, and we're going to answer this phone call right now. Good evening, this is Tito Prank from the Everything Now Call Center. How may I help you this evening? Um, I am having a problem generally with your, um, some of your products. I am really sorry to hear that. Uh, please let me know what product in particular you're having trouble with. Mm, it's your clocks. It's all of your clocks. <laughs> it's all of our clocks? Yeah, because I, well, I basically, as you, I mean, you can, can you see me right now? 
Oh, uh, like yep. Yep, it is? Okay, yep. cool. Everything I have is from the Everything Now show. Thank you so much for um, all of your... Because I have that loyalty card. Of course. Where if I buy something, the next purchase I also pay for. Um, <laughs> and then that repeats sort of like ad infinitum. Sure, it's a perfect system. Um, And uh, yeah, I would just say I have a problem with your clocks, which is I look at the time and I... I, it'll be like 1.27 and I'm like kind of late for something and I wish that it was like 1.12. I think what if it was 1.12, it was instead of being 1.27 and then it isn't and I kind of like want that to be different about my life. Um, sometimes you're supposed to be somewhere for 145 and you're just not gonna be there for 145 but you think, what if I could be there for 145? <laughs> And like, how would how would everything have had to change up until then? And like, how how easy would life be if it was only one twelve p.m.? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so you make the clocks. I don't make the clocks personally. <laughs> but the uh, company makes the clocks. Uh, yeah, sure, yes. So in some ways, it's like, could I maybe maybe your manager makes the clocks? <laughs> I don't know. If my immediate supervisor You're makes the clocks, um, but. I can, you know, I can send something towards the clock department. I think there are a couple floors above me. So you're saying that you wish that the clocks could adjust to the time that you wish it was, as opposed to the time it actually is. Yeah, I mean, can I share a little backstory? Absolutely, please. <laughs> Everything in my life has gone really well. Yeah. That's huge. When I set a goal, short, medium term, long term, I am able to wield myself and take the actionable steps toward that goal. I have never had friends date each other and then break up and then they don't ever, they don't want to be in the same room and I still have to be their friends. That's never happened to me. Only people I know died, my grandparents. And to be honest, I was tired of them by the time they- Okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, you know, it's a lot of like still being afraid of polio. Does that make sense? They're still, they were still, okay, interesting. They're like, mm -hmm. you, could, you could get polio from that. And I'm like, no, you can't, you idiot. Oh. <laughs> They're just from a different time. Edrin32, thank you so much for the subscriptions. I can't believe it. We've hit our sub goal. That's so, amazing. I'm listening. Really what I'm looking for is just like a different answer to something that I I feel like I'm, I, I don't, no one's ever suggested that I might get a different answer, but sometimes I want a different answer. And so... Um, I'm sorry. There's a person in the chat named Stuber Fan. Mm -hmm. Is that just like a guy who likes Stuber? Mm -hmm. The movie by Michael Dowse from Canada Stuber. and also starring Dave Bautista. Tito, back to work. Hey, sorry, I got distracted. Um, yeah, it seems like you need like therapy or like Noom. No, things are going really well. <laughs> and no, I don't need an eating disorder. Is that what that's for? I thought that was for like time management. Yeah, everything is just- For eating disorders? Just like have an eating disorder. Mm, got you, got you. Be okay. Like, be like, you're, be like, we did a calculation. You're only allowed to eat for three hours a day. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, did, that's what a dietitian says. Have you tried moving the needle on the clock? Well, no, I hadn't. I didn't know that was an option for me. I didn't really think that I had the power to do that. Oh, yeah. Um, and then another, but how would I change the clocks? Like, I, like, do you have clocks? And, like, could I change those? Could I change everybody's clocks? I think you can change every single clock that you can get your hand on. Can I ask you a question? Uh, if you just did. Who... Who is the one who's in charge of like typing in like what time it is? Who's the one to... in charge of typing in what time it is? Yeah, to like like um, computers, like everybody's computer like goes to the same time and then and then when their computer when their clock says it's a half hour different than your clock, then I would be like, you are actually like you're actually crazy. Mm -hmm. Like I kind of want to gaslight everyone to just be on my schedule all the time. That see, you should have said that from the beginning. Uh, and also, I'm being told that uh, Obama and the government are the ones in charge of the clocks. 
that everyone receives but online. I'm, just, I'm wondering if, and sorry if this is changing into like a job interview, but like, can I be the one who's like, what time, what's the, because basically the only problem in my life is that sometimes the exact vibe of what time it is does not match the time on clocks. Sure. So you want to be in charge of telling people what time it is, but also not telling them, but choosing what time it is. Yeah, and also you know when it's like Wednesday, but you're like, it must be Friday, and then it isn't Friday. I should, I should also, that's, I'd love to be in charge of that because it's really like unmooring. Mm -hmm. when, and I don't want to be unmoored. I would not like you to be moored or no, un unmoored. Un you want to be moored? I want to be moored. moored. What happens if you're unmoored? You don't then you're know. like, then you're, fl you're floating, you're floating around everywhere. Oh like no. I need to be moored. I need to be moored. Um, and then you're, then you're floating around everywhere. You don't have, a, you don't have an anchor. Ship without an anchor. And then anchors, on the good. other hand, could be bad if you want to go somewhere. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm just trying to, uh, I'm going to try and get some help from my assistants here. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? My name is Ellen. Ellen. We have... Generous. Oh my God! Oh, that explains so much. I grew my hair out and things have been going really well. Interesting. And it also seems like you've sent me an image here oh, uh, cool. to help me understand your situation a little better. Dreddy Detty says, would you, would you could simply change the clock on your local church and the whole area has a new time? That's true. That is one way that the information about what time it is is emitted across a physical location. Because if the bell goes off, that means a new hour has started. Okay, so a huge problem with that is that my local church is in fact Hillsong and they want me to be not exist due to gay. Due to gay. Because you are due the gay. gay. They want me to not exist, so the likelihood they're gonna let me change the the clock, which is like for some reason on a floating illuminated stage, and like a guy is like singing at you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you know that Creed's lead singer, Scott I don't know, yeah, he and his wife are getting divorced. I'm so which sorry. I'm like, maybe the gays are right. Maybe the okay. gays are right. <laughs> Okay, and you sent me this image of the Little Caesars guy uh, on the couch eating pizza with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles behind him. Yeah, so what I'm seeing here, what I'm showing you is that I'm not the only one who experiences this. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are experiencing, like, you know, nighttime. They're obviously in this picture, they're like, you really need to go to sleep. And, yep. and Little Caesar yep. is like, and Little Caesar is like, no, 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 no. They look so now. tired. <laughs> They look tired, don't they? Look like they're like this guy won't go to bed. They're teenagers. They <laughs> they're they, like, they need they, lots of sleep. They're like they won't. He won't go to bed. But Caesar, mean guy that he is, is like I gotta eat this pizza. Pizza, pizza. And also, I'm so little. <laughs> yeah, he is. A, was, he do, he does look like that in the photo. Yeah. Was Caesar little? It must have been. Was he like a little guy? Or sh or was he like six five and he he should have been hooping instead? I don't know. Um, no. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. We have someone Googling uh, if Little Caesar was in fact a little guy. He was 5'6", which is probably considered one of the tallest people at that time. That's yeah, true. Yeah, that's so, probably like... Or shorter ooh. back then. Yeah, that's right. e Yao Ming height back then. Um, and... Yao Ming. Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Let's say you were hypothetically about to die right now. What would you like your last words to be? I would like to say that... Me flipping properties continuously in Southern California is what some would consider immoral, but nonetheless, my hobby. Okay. Thank you for being honest. Mm -hmm. I really... And that's girl power. And that's girl power. And that's being a girl boss. And some... I, I think somebody else called into this call center and complained that women are not the girl bosses enough. I guess... Is that right? I look. Someone else was saying that, but I think that girl bosses are out here doing it for themselves a plenty. You yeah, know. And that overall, as a in some ways a female terrorist. <laughs> hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it's it! It's really it, cool it, that no it, one is it. monitoring me in any way. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to say to your victims? I, I mean, your interns. Oh, um, yes. Um, I would say throw. 
because I don't even throw the stuff myself at their heads. I, I get another one to do You're it. You're making them throw then, things at each other. And then when they go on runs together, they can't make eye contact because of the ways I've made them be abusive to each other. Mm, mm-hmm. um, and then also I would say to the one that I'm treating better than the others, you're the special one. Wow. Thank you so much, Ellen. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Girl. Hit it. Hit it. Didn't someone pay five dollars? Okay. What? Someone paid five dollars. So. No. I could have sworn someone did. You could have sworn somebody wanted to kill me. <laughs> you could have sworn somebody wanted to kill Alan. Am I wrong? Well, jokes on you. I'm gonna give like five hundred dollars to a teacher and make her cry on my show. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. No, don't do that, Ellen. No. She just dropped. Jeez. All right, good. Nowhere. I'm being so I'm being told by several people that I'm not crazy and that someone did pay five dollars. Thank you very much. See, I'm not the one you should be girl boss gaslight gatekeeping from. Okay, you should be doing that girl to to the others. Bro, WTF is this? I love it. Thank you, Matty Jix. We are uh, Everything Now Show, an interactive comedy show here on Twitch. We were on the front page for a little bit today. And I think we're going to be going to do the freaking uh, call center. Oh, but, hmm? You have to look hard for it. Of course, anyone who subscribes to the show uh, gets a special treat uh, depending on the episode. In this instance, you get to sign a Get Well Soon card <laughs> for Ryan, who's in the hospital because of a goat attack. And we have some new subscriber comments here. Those goats were sure hungry for twigs and berries. Sorry, they got to yours. Here's to your Ken doll future. Wow. Uh, and of course, Edrin32 says, Hey, Ryan, I know it was you that took my sandwich out of the fridge. My wife made me that sandwich, you son of a bitch. That ghost nest didn't finish you, but I will you. GWS for this ass whooping. <laughs> get well soon. Get well soon, just so I can kick your ass. Wow, fair enough. Okay. Uh, and thank you, Habitual Half Stepper, for Twitch for being a Twitch Turbo user. So if you subscribe, you can sign the card for Ryan. But also, since we hit 25 subscriptions, that means we're going to take a little trip to the water cooler. We have some new employees around here sometimes that have trouble, you know, getting to know everyone in the office. So they need help using uh, small talk. That thing that we're all so scared of doing. So you are going to assist them in participating in some good small talk around the water cooler. I'll see you in a little bit. Have fun. hired a female terrorist for the office, which I think is pretty exciting. Oh, oh hey! Oh, uh, hey! What's up? You must be the, uh, you must be the new accountant guy. Yeah, I work in accounting. Great to, uh... You're gonna... So, hi. You're gonna do it? Like, what, you know, uh, what, what are your, your job gonna be around here? Oh, uh, Guys, I forgot what I do at the company. Can you remind me so I can talk to my coworkers, please? It's my first day. I don't remember what I do. Uh, terrorist. <laughs> it's just enjoying it. No, no, no. Oh, thank you, Mr. Lions. Le- Accounting. Oh. Accounting. Oh. Yeah. We've really been needing that numbers, yeah. monies, no one's different. Been, no one's been counting anything. Spreadsheets. So you probably so. studied math. In school? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, what, what school did you go to? And what did you study? Hey guys, what school did I go to? And what did I study? Please, uh, I can't think. Where did I go to school? And what did I study there? School of hard, school of hard knocks. Piss school. Uh, school of hard knocks. Going to uh, uh, Okay, uh, thank you. Yeah, I went into school of hard knocks. I studied female body inspection. Shoot. Uh, but I found out my love, my passion is accounting. Cause I, so I stopped studying the other thing at the school of hard knocks. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, I don't know about you guys. But my passion is not data entry. <laughs> <laughs> My, my passion personally is uh, screenwriting. I'm hoping to do that one day. You got a thing you do outside the office? What? You got a thing you do outside the you office? Other stuff Fun too. stuff? You happy? I need a hobby. What do I do for fun? Try I don't have any hobbies. Biodome 2. You get restuck in the dome. Sleep in a bed <laughs> collecting snails. <laughs> they Juggling. think they're better prepared for it this time. It but boy, fun. are they mistaken. Uh, tennis, uh, <laughs> puppet loitering, tap dance, eating. And it's got a different ball of rubber. Hey man, stop talking during the soliloquy. Model trains, eat crayons. Okay, great, thank you. Model trains eat crayons. <laughs> oh. Model, tra model trains eat crayons. You feed crayons to model trains? Yes. They get so hungry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this guy gets it. Man, I love watching Planet Earth documentaries so much. Oh man! If you were an animal, what kind of animal would you guys be? For me, it's absolutely a dog. Yeah, okay, so dog is gonna go ahead and be the boring answer, because everyone ever would pick dog. Obviously it's tiger, because then you get to have stripes. So wow. beautiful, live in the jungle. You yeah. really are. Uh -huh. You really are a terrorist, wow. Uh -huh. What about you? Me? Guys, what's a freaking animal that I want to be? I never even thought about this. Animal? Yeah, that was a good one. I got it, thanks. Furret. What? Furret. Long mouse. Long you mouse. You know, long mouse. Ferret. They scurry around. Long mouse. Hey, Furret. hey, sorry dude, quick Furret. question. Quick question. Why do you talk like that? What's that? Why do you talk like that? What's that? Ask your chat, why do you talk like that? I thought this was normal talking. <laughs> What's a reason for my strange affect? <laughs> Thanks, got it. Drop as a baby. Okay, cool. Got it. I, when I was a baby, they conked my head on the floor. Gotcha. The parents floor. dropped me and conked my head on the floor. What about you guys? Were they really <laughs> unprepared for parenthood? Did they not love each other? Did they ever love each other? What's going on? What's the deal with my parents? <laughs> Why, why did my parents' marriage fail? <laughs> from, from you. Got it, thanks. Okay. Polycule. Oh. Yeah. Mom wanted an open marriage. So your parents were bad because they were poly? No, it was a bad fit because my mom wanted to be in a polycule, open marriage style, and my dad was monogamous. And that's why they dropped you? They were like, they were, she was like, I gotta go, take this. And he was like, he was like, I don't, wait, I'm no not really getting the he's bigger like, picture. He's like, no, of I also gotta go have sex with other people. He was people. like, oh my God, are you leaving me? I can't use and my hands. And they're just like whacking you like a volleyball. <laughs> Operators put through all kinds of calls, many of them to out of town points near and far. And for each call they handle, they record the facts needed to accurately bill the customer. The calling number, the place called, and length of the conversation are all noted for use by the accounting department. Like the operators who handle telephone calls in my town. Here in the central office, you can feel the pulse of the community. The flashing lights on the switchboard reflect the activity of the town. Thank you. It begins to stir in the early hours of the morning. It reaches its peak in the rush hours of daytime. That's Pennsylvania Place, please. Thank you. And then settles back for the night. 
It's the job of the traffic department to handle this changing volume of calls. It has to be ready with enough equipment and enough operators, 24 hours a day, to meet the customer's demands for service. From the earliest days of her training, every operator learns to think of her job in terms of service to the community. This is information. May I help you? Yes, I'd like the new number of Wilson's Meat Market. 1191 Sycamore Street, please. One moment, please. The number is right 56240. Right 56240. Thank you. You're welcome. Operator. In addition to supplying information, operators put through all kinds of calls. <laughs> oh no, a creeper! There's a creeper uh, approaching my house. <laughs> ah! Both of you, Chris, look weird, just so you know. <laughs> All my stuff exploded. <laughs> Everyone, shut up! <laughs> It's Tito time. Look, everybody. It's Tito Prank. He's back. And it's the Everything Now Call Center, okay? We're going to help people out. People are calling in with problems. You have the solutions, okay? Check out the sound alerts to this direction over there. Uh, and thank you for all the subscriptions that allowed us to go to the freaking uh, water cooler. I thought that was, like, super cool. And also, should we do the, uh, the B game? No? We're, okay. Sorry. Uh, so no B game. So no B game. What? what Me mean? Member. What? Member. So no head. What? You so no head. That? You've never seen so no head. Chris, it's so funny. I'm looking it up. It's a it's a bind, okay. Um. And it's funny, there's a guy with the cell phone and he's talking to who I can only assume is his girlfriend or boyfriend and is like, so no head? And then he throws the phone onto the ground and then there's a skateboard that's like hanging off of the curb and he jumps on top of it and cracks it in half. It's just the funniest thing I've seen in a while. Um, I just watched it, it's really good. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so. Just like that, we're going to be helping people out, okay? Uh, and also, if you subscribe, you get to sign a, the Get Well Soon card for Ryan, who in the uh, office here is in the hospital right now. Uh, you see, he was attacked by goats. And, uh, you know, he's in a lot of pain. So we're going to have to send him some nice words. You can send him some inside jokes, some gallows humor, something to cheer him up while he's in the hospital bed, all right? So, and it's, it's ghosts, it's goats. He was not attacked by ghosts, as far as I know. Uh, it was those pesky goats, yes. Uh, do not wander into a goat's nest and try and steal their eggs. It will not end well for you. Oh, and I guess we have someone to talk to right now. So you and me, you and Tito Prank, are gonna help them out. Let's do it. Good evening, this is Tito Prank. Who am I talking to right now? Hi, Tito. This is uh, Scott Michaels. How are you doing? Scott Michaels. Hello. Uh, pleasure to hear from you. Uh, hey, good to hear from you too, man. Great. Uh, what can I help you out with today? Oh, you know what? I actually, um, I'm kind of running into a little bit of an issue. I ordered some uh, Everything Now Corporation cleaning supplies. Okay. Um, bleach scrubbing devices and uh you know what i'm still having trouble getting sort of a stubborn stay uh stain out of my rug Ooh. um yeah Ugh. Mm -hmm. so annoying so that i was just calling annoying. to see if maybe you could help me with that yeah of course so you need help removing a stain do you know yep. do you know what the uh substance is that is staining the rug that you're uh, let me take a out? look um you know what? I think it's organic. So, you know, just kind of, I'm not totally sure. It's not like chemical based. It kind of like an organic uh, stain. So almost kind of like a red wine. Not quite, but something kind of like that. Okay. All right. That sounds fine. We'll work with that. So something dark and red, like a, like a wine. Yeah. Okay. And so you need help uh, removing it. Uh, I the do. Stain. I do. Have you, yeah. have you tried the white vinegar? 
White vinegar? No, I haven't. You know what? I, I don't I don't have any at home right now. Uh, you know, I I thought maybe because I ordered all these everything now corporation cleaning supplies. And by the way, if you wouldn't mind adding I don't I don't know if you do orders there too. Yeah, of but course. could I add um an everything now corporation shovel? Um, and some heavy duty Everything Now Corporation garbage bags, please. Absolutely. I'm going to send this all your way, Mr. Michaels. Great. Thanks so much. Yeah, of course. Have you considered uh, simply rolling up the rug and throwing it away? Oh, it's not. Oh, sorry. No, it's not. It's carpeting. It's not a rug. It's oh, like, it's, yeah, it's installed. It's installed in my place. Yeah, oh my yeah. God. What are you doing in here? Oh. <laughs> I took oh. care of it. Did you hear something? Yeah, it sounded like someone dropped some like a uh, loud yeah. metal pipe or something. I, well, I've got a movie on. I've got a movie on here oh, at the house. Yeah, so, okay. Um, what are you watching? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what movie are you watching? Oh, I consider myself a bit of a cinephile. You know what? I'm not actually even sure. I've just got uh, TNT. They know drama. You know oh, that's what I'm great. Saying? So yeah, I'm not. I just came in in the middle, so I'm not actually even sure. What Can movie someone is. tell me what uh, is on TNT right now? Um, um, mom. What the heck is? Oh, this movie's crazy! Gosh, that's wild. Hey, oh, by the way, the NBA Finals. Uh, wow, it's really a massacre over there, huh? It's crazy. Hey, by the <laughs> way, I, I did put an order in for a very expensive piece of jewelry about a week ago. It was like two hundred and uh, it was like twenty five hundred dollars, I think. It was like a diamond necklace. If we can cancel that order, actually, I'm not going to need that anymore. Hey John guys, it's me, one of the other criminals. <laughs> Shit, and did you sorry, you scare me. <laughs> These dunks are out of control! Yeah, Donk is going crazy out there, man. He's just massive murdering them all. Uh, yeah, the NBA with all their metal pipes being dropped. Um, okay. How do I help you? How can I help you, well, Scott I guess Michaels? Well, just all of those items would be helpful, and then... That's uh, fine. Oh, what was it? There's one other Done. thing. Oh, um... This is gonna seem like kind of a weird question, but do you guys do passports? Yeah, we do passports. Okay, services. great. I'm gonna need an expedited passport. I need to make do some travel, and I don't know if you guys do travel services, but do you, I don't know if on, sh on like a shorthand, do you have all the countries that don't extradite to the United States sort of just on a list somewhere over there? I should have that somewhere here. If you could check on, that would be so great, Tito. Thanks so much. Yeah. Ah, sorry to be a bother. Gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so unlike me. Uh, this is not usually what I'm like, but you know. This call. Please uh, confirm your identity. Oh, and also you're going to have to verification question. answer this security question here for me to verify that yep. it's your account and that you're not committing fraud. Not a problem. No problem here. Yeah, yeah. Go go ahead and shoot. Um, Who would I kill if I had the chance and it was not illegal? It says illegal. What? Who would I kill if I had the chance and, and it was not illegal? I guess you're trying to say like, right. like a legal Hypoth matter. Hypothetically though, right? That this was a hypothetical? No, this is actually your security question. But like hypothetically, who would I, cause I wouldn't actually. If I had the chance and, it, and if I had the chance, who would I kill and it wasn't illegal? Um. My wife. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just as a joke. Like Borat. Just silly, uh, my wife. Oh, you're watching Borat right now? Is that yeah, what I'm hearing? Oh. <laughs> and that part where Borat That's great. <laughs> shoots Pamela Anderson. The king of the cats, the king of the cats. Remember that? So I do. Probably, probably I do remember that. Life. That's who I would kill in cold blood. But as a joke, kidding, kidding. <laughs> my, you know? Hey, it turns out the actual answer was Borat voice my wife in Minecraft. Hmm. Perfect. Great. Well, okay. Now we know it's your account, Scott Michaels. Boss, Hunter Biden's here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you hearing that? I am. I don't remember Hunter Biden being in Borat. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the second one where they get oh, yeah, yeah, where course. they get. <laughs> uh, are you okay there, sir? Just enjoying the film, probably. And this is on TNT. Wait, I thought this was the NBA final. Sir? Hello? Are you still there, sir? 
Tito. Sir, ma'am, are you are Tito, you okay? I'm going to level with you, okay? I haven't been totally forthcoming about my problem. Oh. I'm sending you a picture right now that's going to hopefully explain it better than I can. All right? I believe I'm, you. I'm sending you an image. It might take a little while to load. It's I'm 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 working. On, I'm I'm not on a smartphone, okay? Your data plan probably is a little My expensive. My data plan is a little bit slow, but just. Where are you? Ah! I don't have a lot of time, Tito. I'm trying to send you a picture. Hopefully, there's someone on your end who can who can download this photo. Quick, somebody uh, use the visual aid sound alert. I promise it'll be worth it. Please, please help this guy out. I think Hunter is cool as fuck. I agree. Is that what ASF stands for? All right, I guess my picture's not coming in. Oh, and, and perfect. They decided, okay. They decided. Oh, wait, to, uh, I just got it. It just came in. It just came in. Oh, my great. Picture. All right, oh, great. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and pull up the image that you have sent me yes. to help understand your situation a little bit better. <laughs> and it's the cover of the Arctic Monkeys album, but they replaced the guy with, with me, Adam Sandler. With me, with me, with me. With you? That's a selfie. I just thought I just thought it'd be cool if you knew what I looked like when, when all this shit went down. You look like Adam Sandler? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> yeah, I see it. All right. So someone did pay $5 to kill me, I saw. Oh, you know? You knew that? Okay, well... I noticed that earlier, yeah. Yeah, it did happen. Um, do you have any last words? Well, now that you know... Well, I did send you one other picture. Okay! I did send you one other picture, and... Maybe this will make you feel bad about what you're about to do to me. One sec, one sec. Okay. I'm pulling up the image right now. I'm trying to think of Arctic Monkeys Adam Sandler puns. And, oh, teen who got dragged to lunch with the family starter pack. The broccoli haircut, the smartphone, the flannel pajamas, oversized hoodie, and Crocs with socks. Yep, seems about right. This is just a meme I made. I thought, I don't know, I'm just trying to workshop this. Do you think this Bro? would be funny if I posted it on Facebook? Scott, it's so true. It's so true. <laughs> do you think if, do you think this would do numbers if I posted yes! it on Facebook? I imagine at least 20 ha-has, uh, 30 carings, and 40 uh, hearts, you know? My wife's... Skull. My wife's skull? My wife. That's your wife's skull? My wife's hit it, 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 You can't kill me, you mother... I'm killing myself with the gas! Better than killing yourself, then. Wow. That was just like in training day. That classic line, Denzel hops on the car and says, You can't kill me! I'm gonna kill myself with the gas! Classic line from Training Day. Uh, I guess we'll have to cancel that passport then. Yeah, you know, maybe someone can use it. Maybe it's, it's it'll be helpful for somebody else. Uh, did he fart the green gas? I'm going to assume so. I'm going to assume that that was his farts, yes. Well, another successful call. Um, he would later find out that Yahweh can be killed like all the old pagan gods. Horrifying. A horrifying comment. I, I, I feel cursed. He saved a suicide fart inside himself for emergency. Yeah, most agents uh, do have uh, kind of like a cyanide fart in them. Um, well, the <laughs> folks. Folks. Was that the side effect of Blue Chew? <laughs> yes. And I have an annoying coworker that I have to talk to. Butthole cyanide pill. It's a but. It's a. It's a cyanide suppository. Excuse you. Cyanide fart is a good band name. I agree. That's like a good opening band for like no effects or something. That was a good way to go. Honestly, you think so, Steve? You think you you, you think so? Technology is tight, burlap nutsack. I totally agree. Oh. Hey. Hello. Um, What's up? <laughs> okay, so Tito. Yeah. I noticed you're not wearing your hard hat. Tito. 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 You're what? Not wearing your hard hat. We're supposed to wear hard hats now. I don't even remember about that at all. Even. Yeah, we're doing the photo shoot later. What's the What's the theme of the photo shoot? Also, hi Nate Blackest. The It's like safety. A safety photo shoot yeah okay um well i can try and grab something else i mean yeah I'll, I'll i'll find the hard hat because the theme is like we feel safe here and not scared right at work and you, you do you feel safe like in my body oh i was or just like in general in i suppose world, and like like as a woman i don't know what do as you a think woman terrorist? 
What do you think? How, how do I feel as a woman, Tito? How do you think? What do you think? It's probably a little scary out there. I gotta admit. We see... Am I wrong on that? Or did I assume incorrectly? I, I don't know. I think it's like kind of messed up to assume I'm scared all the time. Well, no, I mean, not all the time. how asymmetrical my nostrils are. Hey, your nose is fine. And also, women are allowed to have fun amidst all the horrors that they experience on a daily basis. Okay? What's a good way to have fun, Tito? What are you, what are you doing after work? What am I doing after work? I, I'm going to the freaking movies. I'm going to go to an outdoor mall. I'm going to eat the pretzel. And I'm going to go watch a movie. What movie are you going to watch? I don't know. What are the, some of the movies that are out right now? Phantom Menace is back. <laughs> oh, so they are really asymmetrical. Yeah, so they're, they, they're, yeah. they re-released the Phantom Menace, and I still have to see uh, what else is out right now. Mad um, Web. You, you I'm going to see Challengers for a second time. You're going to see it again? Yeah. Just yeah. to check whether or not... Um, whether or not there were there were any sort of like complicating emotional factors or if like sometimes it was about like power more than it was about tennis. I heard they kiss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they do a lot more than that. Uh, yeah, In some I, I, ways they just kind of do that, but bad. I just wanted to see uh, Mike Feist's dong get slapped away again. I just thought that was that was so cool. It was so cool. It was really confusing in that movie knowing who was British and who wasn't British. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That could I be agree. a huge problem in a movie being like, wait, which one are you? Uh, I also really, I just want to hear the soundtrack again. I, I love the music that goes like... Yeah, um, that does sound like the Babylon soundtrack. We're not talking about the Babylon again, we Chris. Don't want to Fine. Talk about it again. Fine. What do? Wait. What is there to talk about? We'll go smoke a cigarette then. It's just really. It's just like a really bad movie. It's a really good movie that everyone liked. I like. I like Rory Scovel. I love Rory Scovel. So it, that, I think. I think it was worth it. I. Re I really liked how people. How there is a guy who is in the background of some scenes in Babylon, or maybe probably just one scene in the background of Babylon. And I thought, I thought he just really has that face that looks like he doesn't know about texting, and he could probably live in Silver Lake and mm -hmm. we'd all get away with it. Yeah, yeah. Also, I love Spike Jones as an actor. I love Spike Jones as an actor. You guys don't like his role in that. I don't know what to tell you. You, you're yeah, telling me we do you're like telling me I don't alive. like we're his German director character. Part. As you're saying, that's not good. You're not alive. I don't know what to tell you. It was good. We're agreeing with you. Uh, I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette. All right. Okay. Um. Well, I won't really want you to get that hot Tito. <laughs> work. I'll take it. See, look what could happen, Tito. Yeah, that was Off already. That was very dangerous. Now I feel scared, like how a man or a woman feels. Yeah. No, we I'm sorry to assume that all women are scared at all times, okay? okay. I'm sorry. All right, well, you get that hat, and I'll, I'll talk to you later. I don't really know how this bit works, so... You just walk off. I'll you leave. just leave now. Yeah, I assumed I was going to get... Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't get killed in the office. Yeah, there's a chance you're going to get murdered. Uh, Dennis Nedry from Jurassic Park, great cosplay. <laughs> are you talking about me? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Someone just told me I look like Wayne Knight, so I'm just kind of reveling in that right now. And also, thank you so much for the people who signed the card for Ryan, who's in the hospital because he was attacked by a goat. Let's go ahead and check out what you signed in the card. Techslug says, Happy birthday, Brian, from your good friend, ENS Corporate. Uh, Edrin, I already read that one. Yeah, that's the only All right, cool. Thank you, Techslug, for I appreciate that. Um, I'm honored to be compared to uh, Dennis Nedry. He's hilarious. We got uh, sprayed in the face by the dinosaur. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I think we're going to take another call. It seems like we're going to take another call. Folks, we are almost done with the six hour marathon. We are so close. Please keep it together. Get your crap together. And let's help out another person. Okay? You got this. It's been going so perfectly, and now is the time for it to continue being perfect. So let's do it. Go ahead. Let's answer the phone. Good evening. This is Tito Prank from the Everything Call Center. How may I help you? Oh, hello, Mr. Prank. 
This is uh, Clark Taylor. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Clark. Uh, how are you doing today, Clark? Do you need help with something? Doing all right there, Tito. Uh, I'm out on an ENS fishing boat. No. Oh. Uh, uh, well, I take it and I'm out using my ENS fishing rod. Okay. I got no problems with how they're working, Tito. They just... Just wondering if you could help finish the job. If I could help you finish the job of fishing? Yes, sir. A fishing rope and a fishing boat will only get you so far. Real fishing's about conversating, teaching your boy a lesson or two. Oh, I see. So you want to have kind of like a like masculine... A bonding moment. I see. So you need a son. My son's dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. He died. He was a soldier. A good one, too. Oh, here. Maybe this will help you out a little bit. Today I learned up to 20% of salmon raised in fish farms are depressed or suicidal. They have been measured to have similar serotonin levels as depressed mammals and will refuse to swim around or eat until they starve to death. Brother, me too. Hey, I know. I feel bad. Uh, and also, you have sent me an image here to help me understand your situation a little bit better. That's right. I think this will give you a picture of who Clark Taylor is. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here. Sure. Give me a moment. Oh my god. Yep. Clark, is this what your rig looks like? Things ain't been so good since my son died. Yeah, I could imagine. Hey, listen, everybody needs a vice, you know? Hey, I be afraid of the man who has no vices. Am I right? Mm-hmm. I agree with that. So, that's why I cover my keyboard in cigarettes. <sighs> and and malt liquor bottles. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. Do you, um, how did your son pass, if you don't mind me asking? He was killed in the war. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. It I'm, was a proxy war. I will. Uh, I refuse to say what creed or race he was fighting against. I see, okay, yeah, got it. Good. Yeah, <laughs> finally, some tact. Um, yep. We don't need to know that, Mega Wolf, although thank you for asking. Yeah, it doesn't matter, because I am anti-war now. Well, would you like me to be your son, or would you like me to order you a son to meet you on the boat, physically, and well, uh, be there with you? I guess, what do you have as far as options for sons? Because I didn't know you had that, and so far the, the rod and the boat working out good for me. Well, we have many kinds of sons. Uh, we have an ENS sons for hire situation. Um, what uh, what do you look for in a son? Being well, alive, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm, yes. Uh, I'm sorry I said that. I'm no, no, I'm glad it's you fine, laughed. But, I'm glad you laughed. But, but a dead dead's not an option, is it? You want the? No, I'm just I'm like I don't even want there to be a mistake. No, okay. no, 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 okay, no. So no dead. No. Sorry, just some gallows humor. No dead. Blonde. You. Was <laughs> okay. Um, um, Henry was a brunette, and I always thought he would have looked cooler if I had a blonde son. Yeah, I get it. Sometimes after your first time, you would have had you like want a, to try something different. What's that guy? The guy from Top Gun and that uh, Sydney Sweeney. Glenn Powell. Yeah, yeah. I want him to look like Glenn Powell. He got he got a triangle <laughs> mouth, right? I Just want a son that. who looks like Glenn Powell. This is my impression of Glenn Powell. <laughs> He's got like Winklevoss face. He does. <laughs> He's like he does. Um. Okay, so I just wrote in Glenn Powell. Sure. And, uh, okay. I'll see what we can do as far as any other details. Did anything come up? I mean, right off the bat, I don't want to get dicked around here. We got two, Pardon my French. two results here. One of them is dead. Uh, I'm so I'm sorry about that. I thought it wasn't an option. Or it just shows you that it, it's no longer. Continue this call. Yeah, it's no Please longer confirm your identity. I used to work in customer service for you. Oh, there you go. And also, question. I have to get you to do uh, answer a security question to make sure that this is your account and you're not committing fraud. Mm. Uh, well, I'm an old man, and it's a lot of times it's hard for me to do these tech things, so this might take a while. Um, my son disappoints me in one way. This is it. Oh boy. There's a visual aid actually, maybe this is the answer. And also, you sent me a visual aid. Perhaps this is maybe your answer. Oh. Was he always <laughs> ironing the beef? Yes, he was always ironing the beef. And it's... that's gonna be one word. I actually, this one is so annoying that I'm not even gonna have to guess. Yes, it was ironing, ironing the beef. Because we would have Taco Tuesdays every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, I love doing that th where you brown the beef in yeah, the pot. Of course. But he told me he saw on a TikTok you could use an iron to do the same thing faster. Mm. You, you can't, it doesn't do the same thing because it congeals it together into like one big shirt. 
Especially if you lay it out like a shirt. He put the meat in the shape of a shirt, and then he'd iron it. It's, and it takes like double the time too, because you can only do so much at once. I, I know. The iron is the limit. It's so these Gen Zers and Gen Alpha kids, they don't know that if you iron the beef, it turns into a shirt. That is not what you want to do. Um, unless I mean, unless you're after a beef shirt. Unless you I want get. a beef shirt. Of uh, course. Other than the Met Gala, which appears to be <laughs> happening more frequently every year. <laughs> You're telling me I don't see any occasion for a beef shirt. My man. Oh, okay. That's right. I don't know, man. I don't think you need the sun. Although we did order you a blonde son who looks like Glenn Powell, if someone wants to try and do that. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I'd take Glenn Powell. Do you have him in your Do system? we have Glenn Powell? I can try and call him. Maybe yeah, that Can we help. get Glenn Powell on the phone, please? Someone here has to have Glenn Powell's uh, number or something, right? Um... <laughs> He's, um, wow, Chris just doing the biggest sigh off camera. Um, I don't know, man. I'm having a good time with you. I, feel I know. Like I mean, maybe if we go back to that question at the top, you would could be my son. <laughs> it was either you or finding me like a Glenn Powell type. What do you look like? Yeah, I mean, have you, what do I look like? Yeah, are you like 6'4 with blonde hair and big muscles and a triangle face? I'm 5'11 with black hair and some flabby <laughs> arms, but I have really good calves. Andred, ah! Andred! My goodness gracious! Whoa. Again with the support and the love and the appreciation. Come on now. Any of them Glenn Powell or no Glenn Powell? Any connections to Glenn Powell in the audience? Okay, everyone's looking. Everyone's calling everyone's out. Looking? Everyone's looking? <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, just please, uh, just check. Just check. Anyone out there look like Glenn Powell in the chat? Otherwise, I think we have him on the phone. I think we got Glenn on the phone for you. Hello, Glenn. Glenn, you're on the line. Is this Glenn? <laughs> Is this Glenn? Oh. Hey. Hey, it's Glenn. It's Glenn Thomas Powell Jr. <laughs> hey, Glenn. This is Clark Taylor. Clark, my God, so good to hear from you. Yep. I was raised in Austin, Texas. I'm the son of Glenn Powell Sr., an executive coach, and Cindy, spelled with two Y's. Well, that's a what I'd like to talk to you about, Glenn. How'd you like a new two dad? Two Y's? Sorry. Two Y's. A new dad, not Glenn Powell Sr., an executive coach? Executive coach? No. Retired, uh, what'd I say I did? Oh, customer service guy. Retired customer right. service guy. Now fisherman. Dead son, looking for a new one. Glenn. Well, hang on now. If I do that, will I still retain my paternal Lipka Tartar ancestry from my great great grandfather, Mustafa? I'm not looking to change your blood, son. Just looking to change your heart. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me talk to my. Uh, let me talk to Westwood High School, where I played both high school football and lacrosse Why in would 2007. You need to call your high school <laughs> well, alumnus so I can get their blessing. Yeah, okay, fair, fair. I don't know. That's a good man. You don't need don't a transcript or anything. <laughs> That's right. Wow, I really just moved out to LA and immediately became famous. Yep, huh? you're handsome. That's what happened. Funny how that works. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. No, none of these stupid three syllable or four syllable names. I started dating model Gigi Paris in 2019. That's cool. Uh, we That's know funny. Glenn. Everyone knows him and Sydney were hooking up the whole production of that rom-com. Tell right. us something we don't know, buddy. Truly, I moved out to L.A. in 2003, and I was on a, in a movie and a TV show that same In 2003? Year. All right, I'm, I'm getting really angry now. I actually I'm am too, Glenn. Please get off the phone. You're not my call. son. I'm really, I'm really gonna freak out. <laughs> All right, so... That never, sucked! Never meet your heroes. That guy sucked, yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. Who's the other guy from uh, Top Gun? The uglier one with the mustache? Miles Teller. Miles Teller. Yeah, I don't... Whiplash. I don't much care for him. I can do that one a little more. That guy's not... Be it, be in be Whiplash be. in particular, he's a bad son. Whiplash? Peak. Grave... Super performance by Miles Teller. Sure. Other than that, nah. I don't okay. much care for him. Two things. We have Miles Teller on the phone, and you've also sent me this picture. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a meme I made of what Miles Teller in Top Gun looks like to me. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. And I, who's the little guy? The little guy? Let me, I, it's been a while since I made it. Is that Tom? Feels like a reference we don't know. That's my son, Henry. Oh my gosh. See, All he's right. no Glenn Powell. 
<laughs> He's hey, no that's not help. nice. Let's not speak ill of the dead. Uh, Miles, you're on the line. Hey, it's, hey, it's Miles Teller here. Uh, oh, you great. Y'all remember when I did that interview where I said how much I love having sex and smoking weed and then I didn't work for it? Full year? Hey, all right, it's me, Miles Tell. Y'all remember where I did that interview where I said I love having sex and smoking weed and I was kind of hitting on the person interviewing me and then everyone made fun of me and then I didn't work for a year? This is no son. But this then I was in that Godfather thing and now everyone thinks I'm normal again. No. Godfather? Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, they made that thing in the style of the Godfather about making the Godfather. <laughs> And then I was in that and everyone was like, I guess he's an actor again. And then I did all these press junket things where I was like, Tom Cruise is so cool. And everyone was like, yeah, Miles Teller, an actor. Sure. Let's forget all that weird stuff he said. He's got a mustache. Did he now. hang up? Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think he hung up. He's gone. He told us all of that and then disappeared. <laughs> uh, well, I think that proves my point. Yeah. None of these young character actors are really hitting the, you know, uh, cutting the what mustache. What about like Mads Mikkelsen? <laughs> He's he's probably as your son. Yeah, he's probably pretty close to my age, but I mean, he'd make a good son. Yeah, he could be he'd, he'd be interesting to talk to. Sure. He he uh you know he he he's a grounded individual. Like he he doesn't have his head in the clouds like these young bucks. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, I have my IMDb Pro open right now, and I'm pulling up my uh, Mads Mikkelsen's personal cell phone number. I am fishing. Can't you see my? This is the the real part. Yes, of course. It's obvious that's the part where you. Nah, reel it's just in case there was anyone out there who was wondering if this was baseball. I think we got him. I'm I heard fishing. his voice, and I I know that voice. Hey, hey, hello, it's me. Oh, is it? Hey, Mads, it's hey, your old Mads man. Mickelson, hi. It's your old man, Mads. Oh my God, hey, it's who? I, well, I hope to be. Well, Mads, we legally adopted you under Clark over here's name, so he's your dad now. Congratulations, Mads. That's crazy. Uh, that'll be so crazy from, from when I did uh, achieving worldwide recognition for playing the main antagonist, Le Chef, uh, in yep. Casino Royale. Casino yep. Royale. With the cock and ball torture, I remember that. I loved you in Death Stranding, which is a video mm -hmm. game I watched my son play before he died in the war. <laughs> You know, A.O. Scott says, I'm a reliable character actor with an intriguing mug. That's true. That's true. That's what I like about you, Mads. Do you have any questions about how to ha meet girls or have sex? Yes. Uh, I would love to have some tips on doing this of uh, maybe like smoking weed and, and hitting on people interviewing me. Well, the first thing I have to tell you about that is don't. Because I've already thrown one son completely out of consideration because of that. It's true. It was Miles Teller also. It was Miles Teller. Just letting you know that. Kind was of... I in another round? Yeah, you are the guy from another round. Uh, I'm awesome. Yeah, you I are. Just, are. No, 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 yeah. cool. Mads You're rules. Cool. We love I you, Mads. I just figured out and who I am. you took over for Johnny Depp in that Harry Potter franchise? Good for really? me. Oh, Good for me. Yeah. Good for me. Fantastical beasts and where to fuck. Um, where, to, where to do what to them? Or to find them. Oh, right. That's what they're called. Find yes, them. exactly. And you're also Hannibal Lecter on the NBC show Hannibal. Mads, wow. did you do your homework tonight? Uh, you can't make me. Well, I sure can. You got to learn the. You got to. Uh, you got to do some script analysis and learn those lines, or you're not getting any chocolate cake Why? after dinner. Why? In the real world, I'll never need to do script analysis or understanding of lines. You'll have to do it all the time, Mads. You're a grown man. You know this already, son. Ugh, this is so unfair. You don't understand what it's like to be me, character actor Mads Mikkelsen. I don't, and I could never because you're a thousand people, Mads. There's there's thousands and thousands of people living inside you, and that's what makes you so beautiful. Oh, that actually makes me feel so good and inspired to work harder now. Nah, I don't really like this, Tito. Can we disconnect him? He's a little pretentious. What? I didn't. I changed my mind. We haven't committed to him really? as a son, have we? No, 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 no. Okay. I... Sorry, I was getting a little morose because nah, I was like, it's just a little like boring. It was working so it's well. It's like too easy. Oh, wow. Am I, am I hearing? Am I. Oh, he's still on. Being hearing now that you don't want to be going with me? <laughs> I, I, Mads, I like you as a friend, but. Uh, Mads? <laughs> Mads, no! 
I'm sure it's fine. That was probably just a pipe dropping. Yeah, it'll probably be okay. Um, wow, okay. Well, you know, if there's no other character actors you can think of right now... <laughs> no, not really. I am planning on seeing... Nope, 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 nope. What is this? I need you to cover your mouth and crawl away as quickly as possible. Why, Tito? And go to the AMC and now York... Uh, you couldn't possibly. Uh, oh, no, this is such a concentrated gas. It's no, <coughs> choking no. me out cover outside. Your mouth. Dive in the water right now. <laughs> I'm your son. I will be your son. Come see a movie with me, please. 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 Well. Mads, are you still there? <laughs> okay. All right. I didn't even know I wanted the dad at the beginning of that call, but I just... As time went on, I just saw how... He was good. But maybe now he'll be with his normal, his actual son? Who also is dead from the war? <laughs> okay. I think, I think, I think that the only way forward is forward. So we have to take another call. Oh, there's one more card thing. And we have another card thing for Ryan, who's in the hospital after his goat attack. Sorry about your thing. Hit me up if you want to sell any of your meds. Burke. Well, that's very considerate. I'm sure he'd get a lot of money for the pain medication that he'd be being provided by the hospital. Hey, Ryan. I am sorry, bro. My wife didn't actually pack me a sandwich. We're getting divorced. Any when, get well soon. <laughs> Thank you, Edrin, that I'm sorry about your marriage dissolving. Yes, dead from the war. R.I.P. Will Neff, R.I.P. Bozo. Why? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what did he do? Be for real, dog. That's not... That would be a horrifying... That would be a... a, a awful, 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 awful. Well, maybe someone in this next call will want to adopt me. Only one way to find out. Good evening, this is Tito Prank from the Everything Now Call Center. How may I help you? Hello, I have a huge problem. <laughs> ah, oui, monsieur. Uh, who am I speaking to? I don't know what we oui mean. I don't speak French. <laughs> oh? Uh, really? Uh, your accent is so uh, frog-like, you know what I mean? No, 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 no. I am American. Is that not a, a good... I am a, and I am an Anglophile, but for some reason, somebody raised me like this in a sort of a oh. French cartoon. No, they dog-toothed you into thinking that the um, regular UK person speaks like a French person? Yeah, they did debut feature, Your Ghost Land the most to me and I and I ended up this way and none of um, I would make a lot more sense if I spoke French. I am so sorry to hear this. I'm sure it has not been easy for you out in the UK. It has not been easy for me because the fancy uh, uh, the poor uh, English people don't like the French because they think they are uh, fanc fancy and the rich and fancy English people do not like me because they think they, the French are more fancy than them. They don't like us, but it's not us. I am American. I am from uh, Chicago. <laughs> Yeah, I could tell. Uh, oh, man, I'm so sorry. That's not a fun dichotomy to live on. Well, you're not enough for one side, but also not enough for the other side. Of course. Um, okay, but well... in many ways, I'm on no side. No one will take me to their side. They don't say you're enough. They say absolutely nuts. Wow, you really added the you in there. Um... <laughs> Well, you know, the main thing about having a French accent is to sound completely disgusting. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> vulgar, fun. I believe is uh, yeah how they describe it. Uh, like it. Interesting. Uh, well, I was going to ask you a question. I forgot what it was, though. Um, what is your name? What is your name? <laughs> My name is Doug. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. My name is uh, Doug Bones. Doug Bones? <laughs> As a person, 
I don't make a lot of sense. Call, please confirm your identity. Like, that's that's, hey, 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 let's come on now. That's not I nice. Was, let's not talk down to ourselves. I would love to, that about I would yourself. Love to make more sense as a person, don't but, say that about but I can't. Dog Bones, you have to answer this security question to make sure that you are not committing frog. Uh, fraud, not frog. Uh, oh my god. D Doug Bones, where were you born? Yeah, I was born in Milwaukee, but I was raised in Chicago. So talk about living two identities. How long did you live in the Midwest, out of curiosity? A super long time, and I heard all their accents, and I said, what would I give to not have this perfect accent mm. that everybody loves and is just slightly better than Canadian? Uh. I mean, you share, you do share a lake, right? We, we share a couple of lakes. A couple of lakes, <laughs> yes, of course. With the Canadians, who I think are good, and many famous people are from there, even though you would not know. <laughs> oh, so you are a big fan of the Quebecois? Uh, no, they don't like me either, oh, because they are both poor and French. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're a lot like the Quebecois in that you make no sense conceptually. No. Wow. <laughs> the Quebecois, okay. <laughs> the Quebecois make a lot of sense if you realize that the French government was like, we need way more people here. Uh, we're the poorest women in all of France in 1600. Oh, they are prostitutes. <laughs> okay. And now we'll base a whole separate society that needs to have its own culture for 400 more years after uh, they have to be like that. Okay, I think we have a French Canadian in the chat. Great, 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 great grandmother was a prostitute and not good at it. <laughs> she was not only a. Yeah. That's the insulting thing is that she's not a successful she sex was a worker. She's a prostitute, but she was not selling it. Ugh, wow. She was the most modest sex worker ever. <laughs> she was Ugh. like, you are no great lover. <laughs> you were the least slutty sex worker ever. That's how bad you were at it. Wow. Yes. Okay, so uh, what, 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 what do you need from me again? I need to learn French. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said this many times. I would make more sense as a guy. So you? Oh, hey. Hey, okay. That's look. I'm. I'd make so much more sense as a guy if maybe you have a university. Uh, yeah. Now York does have their own university. They, they do, and a lot of French people go there, or maybe someone who just wants to sleep with a French girl one time. Okay. Uh, well. There's a lot of those. Yeah, There's definitely a lot, a lot of those, those, but. They would feel special. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like that. Yeah, it's. Look, we have people from all over the world flying over to New York just to study at prestigious universities like New York City College, Billy Bob Thornton University, so on and so forth. So I would recommend looking at any of the brochures over here. And I think you can learn uh, other things in French while you're also learning French. So you is, can kind of double major, you know? Is there anything, I mean, if I could study French as a language and also the, uh, you know, clocks, and uh, and uh, you want to England. You want to study clocks? Yes, because I do love England. I of course you don't I want do, to leave Big Ben. I do love England. Yeah, I can tell. I, I can tell. I love saying goodbye to your love England. I love I love Angleterre. Oh, no, oh my as gosh! For French, I knew the word. I can know one word for it in French, but it must be <laughs> for for England. Hold on one moment. I'm so sorry to be doing this, but I made a really funny joke just now, and I don't think anyone understood it. I'd like for you to say it again. She said, I do I do love England. But you're saying goodbye. Adieu is I get goodbye. It. I get it now. Saying goodbye to their love in England. Yes. No, no, no. I, it's, it's, Was that early enough for the button? Hey, are you... We have to go to <laughs> the water cooler again. again. What? We just did it. Yeah. Thank you, Edrin32. Edrin32, thank you! Okay, am I am I good going to university? Finally, yes. oh my elbow was in. Don't even call oh, it. Oh my elbow is in the call center. Don't even worry about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, you could send me to Concordia University, maybe. 
You could send me to McGill. I could do Cégep. Not the, McGill. The, I could go to Cégep. Anyone? Cégep fans know Any, what that is? Anyone getting these hot references? Does even Chris know what Cégep is? Not that one. No, Cégep he doesn't know what Cégep is. I had about six <laughs> friends who went to McGill, though. But he Folks doesn't there, know that some Jeff people did Cégep. What's up? That's okay. I'm just I'm hoping to continue my education, which I have yes. never begun to <laughs> <laughs> to begin with. So you're going to double major in French and clocks? I did. Mm, no, I think just the study of the history of England, and uh, they will hopefully do that all in French, but at a really easy level because I can't say anything ex at all except. Angleterre. Yep, they will do this for you. There are classes for this specific need. And uh, I'm excited for you to be learning what you want to learn. Tito, I am so glad you are going to send me those brochures in the mail. I will give you my address, but uh, not if, if anyone's listening. I'm very conscious of that. Oh, please. Because uh, I'm scared, generally, because I am from France. And the French no, are scared I'm people. No, I'm not. I'm from Milwaukee. Yeah, right. It's the right. There you Chicago. go. Right, right, of, right, course, of course, of course. And so, right. thank you so much. I zoned out for a little bit. I think I did also. Yeah, well, we're zoning out. Yeah. It's, and it's it, not to... Yeah, so... Um, so you want to do the address in private? I'd love to do the address in private. Or you, can, you could just uh, send it to One World Trade and I'll pick it up. That's why I don't do paperwork <laughs> at all. <for> <laughs> 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 oh, oh, hey, new guy. Hey. How you been lately? Uh, <laughs> you, you were saying. We we're saying we were all really good and nothing new has happened with us. What's happened with you? Oh, me? <laughs> what, what's, what's new happening with me? What's happening? <laughs> Put my hand in my mouth. Got it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh That's yeah. even better than the last time you showed us. Yeah, you're getting better at that. Uh -huh. Just make sure you can always take the thing out. Uh -huh. You can get it in, but it's harder to get it out. Uh -huh. I'm really impressed by him. I am too. Uh -huh. So, it's cold out today. Do you prefer the warm or the cold? Uh -huh. <laughs> second fist, second fist. Uh -huh. Put your... <laughs> Juggle, got it, thanks. Check this out. Wow. <laughs> wow, I bet you if there was three of those, you would have juggled them. Yeah. That's what about cool. you? What about me? I like it warm. <laughs> what about me? What about me? I don't have any special skills. What am I supposed to tell them? 
Quick, chat, give me something I can tell him. I, I, I don't know how to juggle. I tried to juggle for a little bit, but okay, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> Wow, that's sure. even more than nice. him. That's really good. I like it. Um, I wonder if I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I could do that. <laughs> I just posed that question. Why did I say that out loud? Oh no, chat. Do you think I could do that? And if I can, how do I prove it? Try both hands. Try both hands. Both hands. Good idea. Oh. <laughs> Um, are there any world conflicts that you have some solutions to? <laughs> Learning to whistle. Mm. Ah, oh. I think we have would help everybody. Yeah, if probably. everyone just took the time to learn it, we could I, end I every conflict. I personally think we have to kick Turkey out of NATO. That's my thing. But that's also interesting as well. Yes, my thoughts on Turkey's position in NATO are... <laughs> what do I say? I actually got this one. Let's come back up. Let's come back up. Let's come back up. Alright, let me get into this real quick. Rocky, hit the button before I get started. Show. See, I behaved. I had Rocky Folks. cut it before I said all the stuff I was gonna say. That was That's ready. our freaking show. I'm growing. We did it. That's the show. Folks, thanks for watching. We did six hours of interactive improv comedy. We don't usually do that. Usually. Oh, Adrian, what, what was missing? Did we miss something from your sub did you submit something we missed or like? Let us just, like, know if we didn't do something. Yeah. We'll try to do it. But folks, Usually this show is not four hours long, or six hours long, and usually it is not from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific. Usually, it's at these times, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. This was a special event, but we stream four nights a week for two hours at a time on those nights. So come on back on, what's today? Saturday, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so come Monday, on back um, Monday night. That, that, My me. hands are still red from yeah. that blood it's, bit it's that I did that earlier tonight. I can't get it off. Thoughts on Azerbaijan. Uh, we'll be back it's, Monday it's night with a brand new episode. Shows. So it really will be something great. completely yeah. different than what you saw tonight, but it will still be interactive comedy. So if you had fun at this one, come back on uh, Monday. Sella Vegan, no, we're not going live at 6. None, no. of, none of us, that's, there's this no show it. tonight. That's Please don't make today. us. Tonight was the show. That if was you it. think two hours from now there will be another show, it's done. No. Today done was today. tonight, okay? Come back on Monday. And also, follow our other channel, the Everything Now Show Hanger, or Everything Now, Everything now Hangout, I can't this even say it. Everything Now Hanger? Exclamation point, Hangout, oh, to get a link on, to it. Bro. Click yeah, that link, funny. Rocky and I are gonna start playing Minecraft yeah, over crazy. there. We also do other casual streaming content on there, and you're gonna wanna follow us on all this shit. And you're also gonna wanna join the Everything Now Show Discord. Folks, if yeah, you haven't that, already, that's right. join the Discord. Type exclamation point Discord, you'll get a link to that. Please join uh, the Discord. You gotta join the Discord. And, and uh, someone, I've already lost the message, said it's 2 a.m. for me. I hope somewhere in the audience tonight were people who don't normally get to watch us live who had a chance to watch us live today. I can't promise we will do that more often, but it was very cool to, to get to do it in a different slot wherein we could be live for people who are on a time zone we don't normally do. And I hope in the future there will be more opportunities for you to watch a show live. But thank you so much to everyone who supports it even when you're not able to watch it live. And I hope this was a fun thing for you. And if I you can't watch it live, we have a YouTube channel that has a bunch of Everything Now Show that you can watch when we're not live. So if you're like, I can't wait until Monday to watch more Everything Now Show, great news. Head on over to YouTube. You can watch hundreds of episodes of Everything Now Show. Uh, so go check that out. Um, we also have merch, folks. We are selling hats. Do we have one in the room? Yeah. A green one. Yeah. Folks, we're selling Everything Now Show hats. They're very cool. They are a dark green color. They don't look the color that they actually are in real life on the stream because of the way we color correct this show. But if you want to see what it actually looks like, type exclamation point merch and follow that link to buy an Everything Now Show hat. Those purchases really help us make this show happen. 
We all are working part time. This is not our job. We would love it to be our job. And so does, help us do and that. And this does not ship internationally. And this does not ship internationally. So, so if you're in another country, sorry. Boom, sorry. boom, boom. Sorry, but if you live in America, boom, buy a hat. Buy a support hat. the show. No People audio. Are saying no audio. That can't be right. I think that's a new problem. Everybody else has audio. That's, never mind. We got the never Thank mind. Thank you, tax man. I agree. We got to go next. Uh, folks, we cannot do the show alone. It would simply Dominic drive us fully insane. But thankfully, we've got like some Dominic fully insane guests really who have given us their time yeah. to help us make this show. Let's it's bring them out awesome now. It's Winnie and Ryan. Winnie, Ryan, take the stage. Come on out here. Stand under the sign. Ta-da. Hey. You never met Congratulations. Before. And now we're here. <laughs> Winnie, we're Ryan, Hollywood yeah. moment. Thank you so much for doing the Everything Now show really today. Of course, uh, anything for Jake. That's right. Uh, that's what, what the they fuck? all say. What the fuck? Uh, is there anything we either that? of you that uh, you want to tell the people at I home? I resent that also. Rocky, good. Chris, good. Grant, good. Alex, good. We need that. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Wayne. Thank you, Thanks Winnie. for saying Thanks for that plug. Thank you for getting it right. Ryan, you've been here for six hours. How do you feel? I'm tired. Great. Is there anything you want to tell the world about? No. Just follow me on Instagram. If I get one follow, I mean, I don't even use it. I'm like, I deleted it kind of, but I, I downloaded it again to post about whole, this. Get Ryan to one follow one this guy. No, so we made it to a thousand, and now I'm done. But follow me, so I stay a thousand even when I'm. Ryan, keep them coming back. back. I post Instagram. stuff. Watch videos. I put. There's funny stuff on my Instagram. Look, yeah, look, look. I think that Ryan's gonna be playing Fortnite with us. Oh wait, yeah, I want to stream Fortnite. In the future. I want to stream Fortnite. So, you come. gotta follow the Hangout channel so you can see us play Fortnite, guys! Exactly. And Minecraft! Exactly. And maybe other stuff! Exactly. And I think Winnie and I are gonna do a stream also. You should! You two should! It'll be something. You should! Do something. I think maybe Winnie's gonna build a bed. <laughs> Hockey and old movies. I'm really good at it. Yeah. That building not stream old with Winnie. movies. They're from the 70s. All right, folks. Exactly. That's yeah. all from old. us. Thank ah. you so much. Thank you, Pirate Software. If you came in here from Pirate Software's community and for, and you stuck it out for all six hours, holy shit. Thank you. Thank you so much. And if you're, and if you're a huge Pirate Software fan and you're like, oh, man, being a fan of this guy, it's like I'm a, I'm a drop in the bucket. I'm a drop in the ocean, even. Well, welcome to a community where it's we'll actually smaller. probably know your name. Maybe. All right, folks. Thanks for joining us. Whoa. We're gonna send you over to the Luke Man. I don't. Is he on? He should. He should well, be welcome. on. I got an email that said he's on. Ah. <laughs> welcome to a community where no one really. You. You. you there's like, fifteen of you. Where everybody knows your name. You could be the Diane. You could be the Diane. Or you could be Rita Perlman. Rita Perlman. Norm. Rita Perlman. You asking me if, if yeah. I know who that is? Yeah. Or what are you is looking that asking? Danny DeVito's I think he has point. a lot of answers. Of Perlman. All right, we're gonna raid the Luke Man. Folks, head on over to the Luke Man. Very funny streamer. He is interviewing and chatting with. Uh, Lyle Forever. Lyle, Lyle the Forever. The Therapy Gecko. He told us that not three hours ago. From the That's internet. Right. Remember? Therapy Gecko, you Remember? know him from the viral internet videos? Yeah, you're gonna wanna check that out. Uh, have you ever heard of a viral internet video? See you on They're Monday. They're pretty interesting. See you Monday, goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Stream. Guy who's Over. only ever seen a viral internet video. Before. Getting real viral internet video Ending. vibes from this.